spiritual awakening is often portrayed as someone blissfully meditating for hours on end. However, those who have actually gone through the experience know there is much more to it than that. Awakening is a complex transformation on both inner and outer levels, with many unexpected twists and turns along the way. Some of the changes that occur during this profound opening of consciousness can really catch you off guard, making you wonder, what on earth is happening to me? Rest assured, you are not going crazy. What you are experiencing is simply part of the natural, albeit bizarre, process of awakening. While you won't suddenly sprout angel wings, you may encounter some strange situations that alarm or confuse you. Understanding these odd occurrences will help you navigate your awakening journey with greater ease and grace. Eckhart Tolle says, For most people, spiritual awakening is a gradual process. Rarely does it happen all at once. Let's look at five perplexing things that often happen during this process so you know how to handle them skillfully. The first are physical changes. This is one of the most common and jarring parts of the awakening process. Your physical appearance can alter so much that even close friends and family may not recognize you initially. During your awakening, it's common to lose or gain weight. Many spiritual teachers say that as you shed old, unhealthy patterns and behaviors, you may also lose weight. As you let go of negative thoughts and emotions that have been holding you back, you are making space for your true self to emerge. It's also common to gain weight when dealing with difficult emotions and past traumas. Food can seem comforting when we are feeling scared, lonely or stressed while going through a spiritual awakening. As old wounds surface during this journey of growth, it's normal to feel afraid or alone sometimes. Gaining weight doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. It's just your body's protective response as you process complex feelings. But it's not just weight change. Your actual facial features and structure can transform as well. Our emotional states register on our faces. When we are angry and frustrated, it shows. Ever notice when someone smiles all the time, but their eyes tell a different story? Our expressions accumulate over time, and we can only hide so much. Once we begin to release stuck emotional energy and tension eases, features soften and blemishes clear up. We are no longer afraid to expose our hearts, our posture opens up, and our heads are held higher, revealing a rosier complexion. One key change is often in the eyes. They tend to get brighter, clearer, and more vibrant, truly radiating the essence of your soul like never before. It's as if a window to your true nature opens up and starts shining through. Remember, your body has profound innate wisdom and intelligence. It knows exactly what to do during the process of awakening. So do your best to graciously accept and roll with the changes rather than resisting them. Just keep doing your inner work and let your body guide the process organically. The second change that can happen when going through a spiritual awakening often involves big changes in our personality and sense of identity. You may notice your tastes, interests, perspectives and even lifelong passions shifting dramatically. It's like the foundation of who you are suddenly changes. This can feel very confusing, as if now you're not sure who you are anymore. These changes happen through repeated ego deaths, where our previous identity essentially dies away and makes room for an evolved newer version of ourselves to emerge. With each ego death, we rebuild and reinvent ourselves. While this process can be unsettling at first, it's part of the growth and self-discovery that comes with awakening. You may feel like you're going crazy or losing yourself. But remember, this is actually bringing you closer to your true, authentic self. Allow your ego to dissolve without fighting it. Your sense of identity will rebuild over time as more of your soul comes through. Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu put it this way, When I let go of what I am, I become what I might be. While the changes can feel destabilizing, have faith that the real you is emerging. Trust in the unfolding, even when it's challenging or unclear. The third shift occurs as you clear out stuck energy and emotional baggage during a spiritual awakening. You may start to feel extra sensitive. Your whole system becomes more open and refined. At first, you might feel absolutely everything more intensely, 
physically, emotionally, and spiritually. This heightened sensitivity can be overwhelming initially. You may feel like an exposed nerve, but this is not a flaw. It means your soul is aligning more closely with your body. Yes, it feels magnified at first, but you'll learn to gracefully navigate yourself in this intensified way of being. Rather than shutting down when you get extra sensitive, try embracing it. Know it will help you express your truth and authenticity more visibly and connect more deeply with the world. This sensitivity allows your soul to shine through. Trust the process, even when it feels uncomfortable. With practice, you'll learn to integrate this awakened sensitivity as a source of strength. Jiddu Krishnamurti states, the more you know yourself, the more clarity there is. As you spiritually awaken, the fourth change you may notice is that everything starts to feel faster. As your energy system becomes more refined, you'll start to experience time differently. Desired manifestations can happen rapidly, which is exciting, but old wounds may also surface faster for healing, which can feel overwhelming. When life starts feeling too fast, make sure to pause and recenter. Meditate, breathe deeply, journal. Do whatever helps you regain balance. With mindfulness and self-care, you'll learn to ride the rapids smoothly. Retreat when you feel overstimulated and ground yourself in the present moment. Don't hesitate to slow down when needed. Find your center again amidst the acceleration. As you spiritually awaken, your energy system refines and becomes more sensitive. This allows you to perceive subtle energies and higher frequencies more easily. It's like scrubbing a muddy window until it's crystal clear. Suddenly you can see right through. In the same way, as obscuring veils lift from your personal energy field, your perception increases. You gain the ability to see beyond surface appearances and experience deeper truths firsthand. For example, you may start seeing through social facades and masks that people wear. You're able to discern hidden motives or agendas. Your intuition strengthens, helping you navigate challenges. You also gain insight into flaws and distortions in corrupt systems that may be invisible to others. This discernment comes from developing consciousness. As you unveil your own illusions, you're able to see beyond outer illusions too. Use this heightened perception wisely and with compassion. Spiritual insight is meant for understanding, not judgment. Discern the truth for yourself, but have patience with others. As you continue your inner work, your clarity and wisdom will keep growing. W.B. Yeats encourages us, the world is full of magical things, patiently waiting for our senses to grow sharper. Embrace these perplexing and bizarre shifts occurring on your journey and seize the possibilities before you. Remember to shine your light brightly and stay true to your path, no matter what. The destination makes it all worthwhile in the end. Share your thoughts and reflections in the comments because others going through this need your support. You matter and make a difference. To learn more about how your energy shift will impact your awakening, watch this video next.